Okay, we're going to open a new project in ArcGIS Pro. Uh, the process is a little bit different than ArcMap, so we're going to walk through a couple of the early steps in ArcGIS Pro. This, this is the opening screen. When you open the program, this is what you'll see. Uh, if you have existing projects, it'll list them here. <clears throat> in this case, we're already signed in to ArcGIS Online, and we're going to create a new project from a blank. So the first thing we do is when we hit blank, it's going to ask us to give it a name. So in this case, we're going to call it Hartford Shootings 2. Um, you'll notice that when you click on that, it's going to give, you have to give it a name. It's also going to ask you for a location. So in this particular case, our location is going to be for all of our projects is going to be on our documents folder in our ArcGIS subfolder in the project folder under ArcGIS. So all of your projects are going to be stored there unless you move them someplace else. So we're going to put our name in. We're going to look at that. We're going to click OK. It's going to create a project. It's going to bring up the catalog pane on the left and it's going to be listing here a, a bunch of different uh, pieces to that. Now it's going to bring up our contents page as well. Uh, this is similar to the, con the table of contents that we had in ArcMap, but it's broken down into different segments such as toolboxes, databases, folders, geolocators if we have any, and the portals where all our, our data could possibly be. So that's going to be our, our first step in, in moving forward. In this case, we're going to open a new map. And by default, it gives us the world topographic map and the world hillside map. We're going to take that as a starting point and then move into data that's a little bit more focused on what we're going to do. So in this case, we're going to go and we're going to add data. You'll see it gives us series of, of where we're going to find our data. In this case, we're going to go down to our documents. We're going to go down to our GIS data folder, to our Hartford folder here, and we're going to pick out a couple of our pieces of, of data that we want. So I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to look for Some of our data points. I'm going to take Hartford Boundary and I'm going to add that. And once we've zeroed into Hartford, we really don't need the topographic map, so I'm going to take that off and just remove that completely. Same thing with World Hillside. We don't really need that data. Now we're focusing on Hartford and we're going to add some additional data from Hartford. So I'm going to add the census tract boundaries. I'm going to add streets to show Hartford streets. And again, I'm going to save this as Hartford Shootings 2. And in this particular case, I'm going to add one more piece of data, which is some data that's already been pre-geocoded. So it's going to be shootings in Hartford that have already been geocoded. So it brings up our geocode. So very simply in this particular exercise, you'll see that we've created a new map using a boundary file, in this case, a street layer, some uh, another layer on census tracts, and then we've had a, a layer for shootings from 2011 
through 2014 in the city of Hartford, Connecticut. We've saved it as Hartford Shootings 2, and now we've got a basic table of contents with all these different files that we can then use to do other analysis. So if we want to start to zoom in and do some other things, um, do some type of hotspots mapping, we can do that. But this essentially tells you tells us how to basically start a project in ArcGIS.